What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Tyron. I am back with another video, y'all. It's been a minute, but let's get into it with this updated braid out. I know y'all miss these hair videos, y'all. So I'm starting with freshly washed hair and just letting you know I went in with that Briogeo Deep Conditioner 10 out of 10 and I left it in for about 15 minutes. Okay, y'all, so I parted my hair into four sections, and we're just gonna re-wet the section that I'm working with, detangle it a little bit so it will be ready for all of that leave-in to absorb. And y'all, I'm going in with my old Faithful T-Gen leave-in conditioner, and as you can see, I'm running a little low, so we're gonna pump it out and then just apply it to that section. And as you can see, I'm smoothing it over that section and then finger detangling it through just to make sure that I'm getting it all the way from my roots to the ends. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing with the rest of the sections of my hair and then clip it up in a way until I'm finished applying all of that leave-in. Okay, y'all, leave-in is applied to all of those sections. So now I'm going to section off again and begin applying that product for my braid out. Now y'all already know this, my girl. I'm gonna go in with my old faithful Frizz Patrol from Aunt. Jackie's I'm gonna smooth that and kind of finger detangle that through that section making sure I'm getting it real good and making sure that section is moisturized and I'm gonna top it off with the ice curls gel from Aunt Jackie's it's a part of the same line just to give us some extra moisture and to give us some hold for the braid out so again I'm finger detangling it through but more so focusing on my ends Brushing that product through one more time and we're gonna get ready for our braid out. So y'all, this is about to be real easy. I'm really aiming to have eight braids in my hair. So I'm gonna take that section and split it in half. So the bottom portion, I'm gonna take that and just start braiding easy as one, two, three. And if y'all need help knowing how to braid, I'll put a braiding video down in the description box below. But I'm literally going under, over, under, over, and repeating till I get to the ends of my hair. And once I get to the ends, I just kind of finger coil it by wrapping that end around my finger just to lock in that moisture and that product. And y'all, it's just that simple. I'm repeating the same thing on the top portion of that section. And I split the section in half for the braids just to make sure that the volume is evenly distributed throughout my hair and that there isn't any weird parts throughout my braid out. Okay, I think y'all get the gist. It's time to speed it up. So this next section, I'm gonna slow down just a tad. So for this next section, just to add a little bit more volume and definition in the front, I'm gonna take my three sections that I used to braid as normal, and then I'm gonna braid down the side of that section, but as I go down, I'm gonna add in more hair. So I'm going over, under, but as I go down that section, I'm adding in more hair so that it's braided to my scalp. So it's not a corn roll, but it is braided to your scalp for more definition, y'all. Trust me, it's super, super easy. And I'm repeating the same thing on that front section. Again, taking my three portions, doing over, under, and grabbing more hair as I go down. Just gonna grab more hair until you have no more left to grab. And then it's just gonna turn into a regular braiding pattern. But y'all, this just helps me to get more definition in the front of my hair. And y'all, it's super easy. Just try it and you'll get the rhythm of it. And we are all done and braided up, y'all. This braid out is juicy. It is simple. I only have eight braids, but these braids are about to give. So I'm about to sleep on it and wait till the next morning. All right, y'all, just that quick, it's morning time, y'all. My braids are dry. I made sure that they're fully dry before I take them down, y'all. That is key. I'm making sure that I coat my fingers with some oil before I start to unravel, just to eliminate any additional frizz. 
And girlies, that's just about it. I'm just gonna take my time and unravel all of these braids. Voila, all of my braids are unraveled, but y'all know I'm not done, y'all, right? So now I'm about to go in through each braid and just kind of separate them where they are naturally separating, just to give myself a little bit more volume. And then on top of that, y'all, don't ask me why that peace sign is up, but I'm about to take my pick, coat it with some oil, and then fluff my hair as well, y'all. I'm getting the roots, y'all. I'm making sure that I'm getting each section just to try to separate those parts as much as I can. And then last but not least, I'm going to coat my fingers with some oil and just flip my hair over and kind of just fluff my hair at the roots. I'm really trying to separate those parts so I can get as much volume as possible on day one. And y'all already see it's looking real, real cute. And then I'm about to take that pick again and go ham. And y'all, your girl is done. It's giving volume on day one. I'm very much so pleased, y'all. This has been my updated go-to braid out routine for the past couple of months. And let me just say, y'all, I'm obsessed. Y'all need to try this. You need it in your lives, girlies. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.